This is an overview of the Cellfire Affiliate Store Builder. This WordPress plugin can be used to easily add affiliate product links and coupon links to your WordPress blog. This video is going to show you how to get going using Cellfire and show you some of the basic features. After downloading the plugin, the very first thing you need to do is enter in your affiliate IDs on the network page. So let's click over to the networks page. On this page is a list of all the affiliate networks that Cellfire supports. In order to activate that network, you need to enter in all, all of your own affiliate IDs. You may activate only a single network, or you can use all of the networks that Cellfire supports. Cellfire needs this information to build affiliate links that credit you for any sales that are generated by your website. Cellfire uses your own affiliate links 100% of the time. You always keep 100% of your commissions. You can locate all of the required affiliate network information by logging into your affiliate network account. If you are not yet a member of a particular network, there's a link to apply as a publisher below the network name. If you're not sure where to find your affiliate IDs for a given network, just click the Where Do I Find This link underneath the text box. It will show you a dialog with instructions on where to find the information on the affiliate network site. Once you have entered in your affiliate information for a network, we need to select which merchants we will be promoting on this blog. Cellfire will only search the product data feeds and coupon feeds of merchants that we select here. You can change these selections at any time in the future. In today's demo, we are going to be building a site for kitchen and cooking supplies. So I'm going to select some merchants that sell those types of products. You can use the top search bar to locate a merchant by their name. To select a merchant, simply click the checkbox next to their name. Your selection is saved as soon as you click the checkbox. If you want to view just the merchants that you have selected to promote, just select Selected Merchants Only in the drop-down. Note only merchants that have chosen to integrate with Cellfire appear in this list. If there's a merchant that is missing and you would like us to add it, please just email us at support at cellfire.com with the name of the merchant and the network and we will work on adding it for you. Once you are done selecting your merchants, we are ready to start creating our first stores. The first step in creating a store is deciding whether you want to create a category or a widget. The difference is small but important. Both categories and widgets allow you to display product or coupon affiliate links. However, Cellfire categories get embedded on their own WordPress page. The plugin will create a new page for each category you create. On the other hand, widgets do not get their own WordPress page. You can choose to add them to either a blog post or to an existing page on your website. In this example, we are going to create a category, but the creation process is exactly the same. The first step in creating a new category is to select whether it will display a collection of product links or coupon links. Let's select product links. Next, we need to decide how we want the products in the category to look. We decide this by picking a theme. These aren't WordPress themes though. These are Cellfire themes that you define via the themes page of the plugin. We'll get back to creating a theme in a few minutes. The next step is deciding whether you want to select products manually or automatically. When you populate your category manually, you handpick each product that will appear in the store. When you populate your category automatically, you do not hand select each product. Instead, you simply define a product search. Any product that is returned by your product search will be automatically included in your category. Manually populated categories are good for when you want a small amount of very specific products in your store. Automatically populated categories are great for quickly adding a lot of products. Also, as new products that match your criteria are added by the merchant, they will automatically appear in your category. For this demonstration, let's create an automatically populated category. This screen is the Cellfire product search screen. Cellfire's product search is flexible and powerful. In this example, we're going to create a category for dishwashing machines. Let's start by finding all products with a product name that contains the word dishwasher. Once you run a search, the search results appear. The search results screen is divided into two sections. On the left hand side is the results browser. The results browser shows you all of the merchants that have products that match your search criteria. Remember, only merchants that we have selected on the merchants page will appear in the search results. You can sort the results browser by either merchant name or by the number of matched products 
using this drop down at the top. You can also use the results browser to drill into a merchant's categories. Just click the name of a merchant to expand its category list. If there are subcategories, you can also view them by clicking on a category name. You can see that as I am browsing the results browser, the search results on the right hand side of the screen are refreshing to view only the products from that particular selected merchant and category. On the right hand side of your screen is the search results. This shows you all the products that match your criteria. At the top, you can see how many products were returned. You can see that not all the products being returned though are actually dishwashers. We need to filter out these unwanted products. We can do this in several ways. In the first method, we could just add an additional filter. So let's add a requirement that the name of the product has to contain a well-known dishwasher brand. Filters allow you to enter in multiple terms by separating them with a comma. With this new filter in place, our search says that the name of the product must contain the word dishwasher, and in addition, the product name must also contain at least one of the phrases Maytag, GE, or Whirlpool. The Cellfire search panel also allows you to filter on many different attributes of the product. It also allows you to specify that product cannot contain certain words. Another common way to hone in on the products that you are looking for is to filter by price. For instance, with dishwashers, we know that they are all going to cost more than $200. We can specify that too. Finally, we can also refine our search by using the result browser. We can view only the products from a particular merchant or in a specific category by browsing to that category in the result browser. Once you're satisfied with all the products being returned by the search, click the Save and Continue button. You can see that the plugin has created a new WordPress page for this category. Right now, the only contents of this page is the Cellfire shortcode. When the page is viewed, however, that shortcode will be replaced with your products. It's highly recommended that you write additional unique content for this page. This will drastically increase your chances of appearing in search engine results. All right, so let's click Preview and take a look at our first category. As you can see, the category contains all of the products that were returned by the search that we just defined. Now that you know how to use Cellfire Search, let's learn about how we can customize the look and style of the product advertisements. The look and style of a category or widget is specified by its theme. When you first create a category or widget, you decide which theme you want to use. You can also change the selected theme at any time by editing either the category or widget and clicking on the Settings tab. To view all the themes being used on your blog, let's go to the Themes page. You can edit a particular theme by clicking the Edit link next to its name. You can also create a new theme by clicking the Create New Theme button. Also notice that each theme is specific to either a coupon store or a product store. Let's get started by editing an existing theme being used by our categories. This is the Theme Editor. The Theme Editor has a toolbar at the top and example products at the bottom. The example products are there to show you how a category or widget will look when the theme is applied. Let's go over the capabilities of each of the toolbar items from left to right. First up is the Layout Selector. The Layout Selector determines how the components of an advertisement are organized. You can change the layout of a theme simply by clicking on one of the advertisements and then selecting the new layout. As I change the layout, you can see the example products update to show you what it looks like. Next to the layout selector is the image width dropdown. This dropdown allows you to specify how wide the product images are. Again, to change the image width, simply select the advertisement and then change the dropdown value. The example products reflect that change. Next to the layout selector is the field selector. Each advertisement has multiple fields, for example, the name, the description, the price, the theme editor lets you specify the style of each field separately. To select the field that you're customizing, you can either click on that field or you can just select it in the field dropdown. To the right of the selected field dropdown is the text editing buttons. If you have ever used a word processor or email program before, many of these buttons should be familiar to you. There are dropdowns to select font style and size. To make text bold, italic, or underlined. 
to set the text alignment or to set the font color and background color. Again, to make any changes to the style of a piece of text, just click the field you want to customize and then use the toolbar to make the changes. Here, I'll update the name fields, font size, and color. The final icon in the text editing section of the toolbar is the eye icon. The eye icon is used to toggle a field's visibility. To hide a field, simply click on it and then click the eye icon. To make it visible again, select the field in the selected field dropdown and then click the eye icon again. To the right of the text editing buttons is the max field length. The max field length controls how many characters to show in a specific field. For instance, if I wanted to only show the first 100 characters of a product's description, I can just click on the description field and then enter in the number 100. You can see the descriptions have now been chopped off after 100 characters. Finally, all the way on the end of the toolbar is the call to action editor. The call to action is the link or button that prompts the user to click. With Cellfire, you can use either a link or a button as your call to action. This drop-down specifies the style of the call to action. With the theme editor, you can also specify some prompt and prefix text of the advertisement. For instance, we can change what text is displayed in the button. To give the button your own text, just double-click on it and an editor will appear. You can also specify what text should come before the merchant name. Again, to provide that text, just double-click and enter it into the text box. All right, now let's flip over to the Page tab of the toolbar. This tab shows you how to specify additional information about how your product advertisement should be laid out. The first drop-down is the Border drop-down. This specifies what type of border lines are drawn around your products or coupons. A grid will draw lines around all sides. A row will just draw lines at the bottom, and none will draw no lines at all. In order to see the border lines, you need to actually view a store. They do not appear in the editor. Next to the border drop-down is the page width. This text box allows you to change how much space the store will take when it is embedded into your site. You can specify either a percentage amount or a pixel amount. The background selector lets you change the background color for the entire store. This can be helpful if your website has a black background and you want your widgets to have white text. Next to the background color is the paging dropdown. The paging dropdown determines where the links to flip through pages of the store should appear. You can select to have them appear at the top of the store, the bottom of the store, or in both locations. Finally, we have the row and column text boxes. Here you can specify how many rows of products or coupons appear on a single page of your category or widget. You can also specify how many columns per row. It is recommended to show less than 50 products per page. Any more and it could make your site too slow to load. Once we are done with modifying our theme, click the Save Theme button. You can now go back and view your category and see that the new theme changes have been applied. That concludes this video tutorial of the Cellfire WordPress plugin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to email us at support at cellfire.com.